Well, this is what it looked like this morning. Maybe you started your day on a somewhat dreary note. Some of you didn't have to go to work today, others did. And uh, this is what it looked like on your morning drive to work. Some of you saw cars appear out of nowhere and then all of a sudden disappear again. And so that's what was going on. News 10 Chief Photojournalist Tony Casasilla navigated through the fog to get this video for us earlier today. And so we continue to have some fog out there tonight and showers and maybe even a few thunder showers. But I don't think we'll have the possibility of severe weather. It just doesn't seem like it's really going to be a, a great chance of uh, severe weather for us tonight. Uh, rising temperatures, however, so temperatures will rise overnight into the low 60s by tomorrow morning. Kind of unusual but that's what's happening and then becoming breezy as well. The wind will pick up tonight uh, from the east southeast. Right now the wind is counted from the east a little bit to the northeast. We may drop a degree or two temperature wise. Storm outlook though from the Storm Prediction Center shows that we're not really expecting uh, severe weather. Now if that should happen, if something gets out of hand, I'll be sure and let you know. Here's a look at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker. Uh, see, we just don't have any big rains out there right now. I'll show you this tonight on News 10 at 6 and again on News 10 Night Watch. So here's the future cast. Here's 8 o'clock tonight. Here's 10 o'clock tonight. And then we get to the overnight. This is midnight tonight. And that's when we have a better chance of showers and maybe some thunder showers as well. And then 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Then we get into the day tomorrow. A little less of a chance of rain, but still the possibility of scattered showers and maybe a thunder shower. We'll get into Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. That's tomorrow evening. Still some showers. But then we get to Wednesday. It will be cooler on Wednesday, but we'll have some sunshine on Wednesday as well. So now the temperature trend shows this. Look at this. Tomorrow high of 67. The record high for tomorrow is 65. I have a pretty good feeling we're going to set a record high tomorrow. The record high is 65. I think we're going to beat that tomorrow. Average high is 37. 47 on Wednesday, then 36, 39, and 42 for the remainder of the week. Visibility being reduced. I've shown you some pictures of the fog this morning. So now fog is settling in again. One mile here in Terre Haute, one in Paris, and the farther north you go, uh, it's even uh, less uh, of a visible, less visibility. So uh, dense fog advisory in effect for Vermilion County. But if you're out tonight, just keep in mind, it's going to be fog for tonight. It's an overnight low it gets down to 54. So probably not much cooler than it is right now. East southeast breeze increasing 10 to 15. That's going to bring the temperatures up and maybe some rumbles of thunder. And then for tomorrow, same thing, a high of 67 showers, maybe some thunder showers, a gusty south southwest wind. And for tomorrow night down to 43, so a little bit cooler tomorrow night. But the average overnight low is in the 20s, so we're not going to be anywhere near that. As a matter of fact, we're not going to be in the 20s for overnights coming up for the next seven days. But it does look as though we could have a little sunshine by Wednesday afternoon and a little bit cooler after we get past tomorrow.